Hi, I'm Holly Silva and I've been a crafts expert for 15 years and today I'm going to show you how to make your own crafts for decor with zebra print. So here I have just a piece of cardboard I took out of, I don't know, I think it was just a box, uh, a placeholder for a box. Now what I'm going to do is cut just a shape around here because we're going to take our vase and we want to put a nice little, we want to put a little, uh, a little frame around our vase when we have it sitting on a desk or a table or anything. So now that we have a proper circle cut out or a proper shape around our frame, we're going to cut off the excess sides that don't look so great. And round the corners even. I think sometimes things look nicer with round edges than straight edges. Make sure that it's even on both sides. Just kind of eye it. That looks nice. Grab our zebra print fabric and place it over our cardboard. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take our double stick tape or duct tape because this one is going to be, we're going to need some sturdy tape for this or even hot glue. I think duct tape is great though. So we're just going to make our, our little double wrap here and we're going to line the back of our cardboard with pieces of duct tape. Now you can use the skinny pieces. I think skinny pieces are actually better than the fat pieces, but it really doesn't matter. You just want to make sure that it's going to adhere properly and hold, hold well. And two more should be sufficient. Duct tape is one of the mighty wonders of the world, I think. It works just as well as glue, but it's pliable. And it seems to hold forever if you're lucky. Okay, now we're just going to wrap over an edge like so. Okay. And because that fits there, we're going to cut just a little bit off the edge here. leaving a little on both sides to fold over. Take that away, put it aside. Okay. I'll fold over the corners. Now, we want to leave just a little bit of space here because we're going to stuff this thing. We're going to make it nice and puffy because we want to add some depth and dimension to it. So leave a little bit of room there on each side. Do the same for this corner, fold it over. That's good. We can keep that there or spare. That. Okay. Now we have this shape. Now we can grab some tissue paper. We can use some stuffing. Anything you've got lying around that you're not going to need anymore. And just line the inside with 
the stuffing of your choice. Whatever you've got at your disposal. Okay. See that there? Nice, 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 nice. Okay, flip it over, see what kind of shape you got. That's a nice little shape, huh? Cool. Now, we go to the inside and cut just a little bit off the inside so that we can fold it over and seal it. All right, grab the edges, stick it to your tape. that over there. And that should fold over nicely. And then if you have any excess fabric, which you probably will have, you can use it just to cover up these pieces there. There you go. Stick that there. And then fold these over as well. Tuck in any in unfinished ends. Like that. And there you have it. That is your craft project for decor using zebra print. See you next time.